Hey art friends, by request, I am making a quick video to share with you my favorite paint brushes. I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. And I'm going to start with these. I don't know how to pronounce this. It's Bomagia or Bomagia. I'm not sure, but I found these on Amazon. <laughs> so of all places for me to get my favorite art brush, these are Amazon brushes. I'll put a link below and I found these on Amazon and I got them for my painting classes here at the studio because they're really affordable but I found they're actually really pretty nice. What I like about these is that they have a nice spring to them. So these are soft when I'm touching these they're not like uh, scratchy and sharp like a bristle brush. They are nice and soft. These are a synthetic, they're soft, they're easy to clean, but they bounce back and they spring back really well. So this is the number one thing that I tell my students about when they're looking for a brush. Most of the time, what I recommend is for your brush to be soft. So it feels soft, but it's not floppy. If it's a floppy brush and you're working with oil paint, it may not quite properly pick up the paint. It might not spread it around just right. So in terms of my workhorse brush and the brush that I do a huge percentage of my painting with, this is that brush. So this is something that you are able to spread things out. You can kind of scrub with the brush. You can use the paint mixed with mineral spirits. You can also carve in with it, you know, since it's it's kind of pert, it has enough pressure at the end that you can carve into shapes and adjust things really well without it just smushing everything everywhere. But since it's so nice and soft, it's also able to blend. So you can use it at the right angle and everything and get it to blend just right. If you're wondering what I'm talking about with all this, when I mention carving with the brush and blending with the brush, check out my video below. It is, I think four, maybe five different ways to use a brush. I think maybe it's four, but I really go into detail about all the ways to use and angle your brush to get different effects. Also, this brush is a filbert. This is my preferred shape for a brush overall. Definitely, I do use flats, I do use rounds, I do use fan brushes even, but I like filberts because they're really versatile. Since they have this curved edge to them, you can blend and you don't get just a really like sharp edge like you would with a flat, but you can also use it sideways or you can use the thin side of it so you can get a wide mark or a thin mark or go in between the two. You can make straight lines with this and you can feather edges. So it's really super versatile. If you had to only get one kind of brush, I would recommend getting this brush in a couple different sizes. Now I thought it would be kind of crazy if I didn't include at least one round brush. I'm often asked by students like, what do I use for details? And how do I sign? What can I use to sign this with? And this is an option. There are definitely other brushes that are more specialty for different effects. And honestly, I don't use a round brush all that often in my work. It's really pretty small, so I don't do it very much. But my favorite brush so far, and this one is, it's pretty old, so it's not in the best condition, but it's this Utrecht round. In fact, let me look at it. Let me see if I can, it's a synthetic and a lot of the other lettering has rubbed off. It looks like a Utrecht 230 or 238 maybe. But anyway, you will recognize it when you see it because this brush has this green stripe on it. So I like to get these in a size number two or a size four, and I will use that often for signing or just little details. I don't use this near as often as these other brushes, but I thought I would include it because you probably need to have a small round brush on hand. Now, stepping up from there is the Royal Langnickel Sable Tech brush. I like these quite a lot. They're not as fancy, not as expensive, and not as high quality as the ones that I'm going to show you next, but I really like these. Okay, so this one, if I just look at this filbert for now, um, it is pretty similar to this other one, but it's a bit softer at the end. So it's just like a little bit less sudden there 
Whereas the end of this other one is sharp. This one is a little bit more fluffy. There's a little bit less pressure at the end. So that creates a little bit different effect. This isn't going to be quite as versatile as this first Beaumagia brush. It's going to create a lot of softer marks, but that's why I like it when I'm trying to get those softer marks. Usually after I've done one layer with this workhorse brush down here, then I'm gonna to start to move on to some softer brushes, and this is one of them. Now, I really, really like this flat. I can't remember if this is a long flat or just a normal flat, but the hairs on this are really pretty long. That's why I love these Royal Langnickel Sable Tech flats. They are just ridiculously long. They are really soft and they're not quite as pert as those original brushes that I showed you. But what happens with these that I love is since there's less pressure at the end, it puts less pressure on the paint. So it will kind of like put down less paint or it'll make a little bit of a transition when you use it, which is nice. And sometimes when the paint is really heavy, these hairs are actually going to kind of split. So it's just kind of like the, the paint is thick enough on the end and it's kind of like a delicate enough hair that it causes it to separate. And then you can make little hatch marks in things, which is really great for hair or just wanting to get some texture in your paintings. These are more expensive than the Beaumagia brushes, but they're not too expensive. They're not like ridiculously priced. But these rosemary brushes, these are the fanciest pants of the fanciest pants. I actually had these. I was given these as a gift by somebody very special to me, and I was afraid to use them for a really long time. But luckily, I have been using them, and I've even bought more since then. And wow, these are just silky, satiny, light as a feather, like... I don't know any other brush that I can get such a light touch. It's like the paint just blends itself. So you would want these brushes if that's what you're going for. If you don't want to have to get a different brush in order to blend everything, you just want your brush marks to blend naturally as you go, this is what you want. The Rosemary and Company this is the Long Filbert, serial number 278, and this one is the Long Flat, serial number 279. So once I start to get into fancy, expensive brushes, I'm usually wanting to get those long hairs on there. Now you might look at this as I have all my brushes laid out here, and you might say, I don't know, Lacey, like these hairs don't seem that much longer than these hairs. But let me tell you the difference. So the difference here is that this Beaumagia brush is a number 12. It's got a lot of hairs in there. You know what I mean? And so the wider the brush and the thicker the brush, the longer the hairs get. That's just kind of the way it goes. Um, but this one by Rosemary is a number five and this one is a number four. So they're pretty long compared to the actual size of the brush that they are. So if you look at the furl, which is the metal part of this one compared to this, this one is a lot smaller, but the length there is getting pretty close, especially with this long flat. The furl is way smaller, but those hairs are way longer. What it means with those hairs being longer is that there's less pressure at the end of that brush, which creates a totally different effect than this first one, which is more pert and and kind of pushes the paint around a little bit more which is not bad it's just different so i'm curious what is your favorite brush to use with oil painting these are mine uh, but what are yours and what kind of brushes are you looking for are you needing a brush for a specific effect and you don't know which one to use let me know in the comments below and if i can't help you maybe somebody else that is watching this video can thanks so much and i'll see you again next time